Hey guys, it's Ellie, and today I'm doing a book haul. So these, my birthday was last weekend, and so these are all of the books that I got for my birthday. My family obviously knows um, <laughs> my passion <laughs> for books. So I think I have uh, nine books here, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight books here. Yep. So, you know, let's get into this before I lose my mind. So, I have a bunch of books here. These two have already started. So we'll go through these ones first. This is like the thickest ones on the pile. This one down so much. Holy crap. Okay, so this one is called What Once Was Mine by Luke Braswell. And this is the newest book in the Twisted Tale series, which is amazing. One of my favorite series. I got a few other books from that series as well. But, so this one, like, they have, like, a tagline. And if you don't know what they are, like, the Twisted Tales books, they're um, pretty much Twisted Fairy Tales. So, like, I'm trying to think. Like, one of them that I have is Peter Pan. And it's like, what if the first time Wendy went to Neverland was with Captain Hook? So instead of, like, growing up with Peter Pan and, like, the Lost Boys and whatever, she grows up hating Peter Pan. Because, like, every time she goes, it's, like, with Captain Hook and whatever. It's actually a really good book. Highly suggest it. Um, but this one is, what if Rapunzel's mother drank the potion from the wrong flower? So I'm only 50, 60 pages in. I started it few days ago but um instead of her hair having a healing power every time someone touches it it actually hurts them and like kills them and so instead of being kidnapped from her family when she was a child her family sent her away to like protect their kingdom and so it's actually like a really fun twist and she's still like the fun character but like at the same time she's grown fearing her power instead of like oh you know, kind of thing. So that's really good. I got a lot of fairy tale retellings, so get ready for that. This one I got from my mom. I'm gonna tell you who I got all of these from because that's always fun. So I got this one from my parents and they knew I, I really like. Most, we're gonna, I really like these books, but we're gonna do some cover detailing as well. So like she has the, but her hair is also silver instead of gold. And then you have like the blue lantern because it's like the moon drop flower instead of the sun, sun drop flower. And like the back is really pretty and it has like the tagline in the hills it kind of looks like the like painting that she does in the movie where she's like up on the hill kind of thing but it's very good and there's 12 of these books so there's those and i'm yay into it not that far like 60 pages this one is a curse so dark it lonely by that author i'm not i don't want to butcher her last name Kemmer, Bridget Kemmer, I think. I'm pretty sure. So that's that's where we're gonna go. So a curse so dark and lonely is like a it's another fairy tale retelling, but it's um I'm gonna put these over here. Um, it's more of like um because it's Beauty and the Beast. Backtrack over here. So it's Beauty and the Beast, and it's more futuristic, like. These ones, it's the same time frame, but, but with a different twist to the story. This one, it's more of, like, 21st century. Um, and they're dealing with 21st century problems, but it switches between this fairy tale kingdom and D.C., like, Washington, D.C. Um, so, the main girl, Harper, um, I don't even know how to explain it. Okay, backtrack. So, the prince, Ren, he has been cursed to relive his 18th, like, the season of his 18th birthday for ever um but at the end of his 18th of the 18th season or of the season he becomes a monster hence the beauty and the beast thing and whatever so he's like so in that time period of like the 300 seasons that he's like had to live through just over and over he can't die if he dies the season starts over but the only way he can break the curse is to find a girl to fall in love with him. You know, Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. So you jump to the, like, 21st century, where Harper is, like, waiting for her brother to get out of this, like, he, like, works for, like, a mob boss, whatever, kind of thing. Long story short. 
and she sees this girl being kidnapped and like raped and whatever and so she's like oh no and so she like attacks the guy who's like kidnapping her and he takes her to this like ends up kidnapping her instead of the other girl and she ends up in this kingdom it's called emberfall yes i'm pretty sure yeah emberfall um and she is the one that the prince has to fall in love with but it's the prince's last season so if he doesn't find a girl to love him within the season then he has to stay a monster forever so that's it's honestly i'm almost done with it i have like 170 pages left it's really good highly suggest it my favorite character is the guard he's very very cute and i just love him it's a trilogy which I don't know how I feel about that just because of the content of the story like I don't personally I kind of want the conflict to be resolved after the first book but you know it's okay so yeah you got this one and then I got this one for my best friend because she knows it's a romance too obviously she knows I'm a sucker for romance so there's that next one Another Twisted Tales book. This is Unbirthday by Liz Braswell. Um, and this one, it's based more after the events of Alice in Wonderland. And it's like, what if when Alice came back, Wonderland was in peril and she was far too late? So I haven't started this one. But I read an audiobook, like the first 10 chapters, while I was dog sitting a few months ago. So um, it's more of like, after she has left, the Queen of Hearts have le has, like, taken over all of Wonderland and, like, trapped all of her friends and she's the only one who can save it kind of thing. Is like, the general idea. Like, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, the next ones aren't going to be as detailed. Just because I haven't read them. So, I do this a lot. Awkward hand motions. So, it's like, she's, like, 18 instead of, like, 7. Which is kind of nice. But when Alice develops her latest photographs of her neighbors, strangely familiar faces that appear instead. The Queen of Hearts, the Mad Hatter, even the Caterpillar. There's something quite off about them. Even for Wonderland's creatures. In her self-portrait, Alice finds the most disturbing image of all. An imprisoned and injured dark-haired girl begging for Alice's help. So she like goes to Wonderland to like save them and finds that Wonderland has fallen into like this um communistic chaos it's actually like really really good i'm really excited about this one this one is one of the biggest ones out of the entire series let's see how many pages it is 500 so this one i think is only 300 ish maybe 400 um yeah this one's like 47 this one's like 515 so on the larger side, I think it's one of the biggest out of the 12, but um, we're going to appreciate the cover art for a hot minute. Look at that, like the little like Cheshire Cat smile and all of the teacups and the like Queen of Hearts with like the rabbit hole behind her and it's so pretty. Like, ah, ah, ah. the rose bushes and they're dripping with paint. Okay, next book. The next part is going to be, even though I have, like, um, an amount more, five, um, they're going to be a bit shorter descriptions just because, obviously, I don't know as much what they're about. So, Conceal Don't Feel. This one's by um, Jen. This one's a Twisted Tale book, but Jen Kalanita. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Please tell me if that's right. So, like, the tagline is, like, what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? So, there were, like, sisters um, separated at birth kind of thing. Following the unexpected death of her parents, Elsa is forced to answer those questions sooner she'd hope sooner than she'd hoped, becoming the sole ruler of her kingdom and growing lonelier than ever. But when a mysterious power begins to reveal themselves... Elsa starts to remember fragments of her childhood that seem to have been erased. Fragments that include a familiar looking girl. Yeah. 
So, like, they were, like, separated at birth to protect Anna from Elsa's, like, powers and whatever. Like, that kind of thing. But cover art, again, is so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. The back isn't as detailed. It just has, like, the tree line on it. I really wish they would have put, it, like, the castle, like, up here with this instead of, like, down here. But, you know, I'm not the cover design here, so you know but it's a very pretty book i'm very excited about this one this one my sister got me this one's only 300 pages which is shocking but i look like at the length it's like tiny compared to like the 300 page book i just finished it's like watch out it's more of like the thickness of the pages i think but like you don't know the thickness of pages until you have a 300 page book that looks like this and a 300 page book that looks like that and you're like holy mackerel but anyways, that book. Next. I think that's all the Twisted Tales books. Sadly. In Between by David Hoffmeyer. I think. The Between. So this one, one of my friends suggested to my mom. Um, and it's like a dystopian. I'm trying to like get a good idea. It's like a dystopian fantasy kind of thing. 17 year old Anna Moon is having a rough week. It starts with a fight after school, then suspension, followed by a mandatory psych visit. Still, she hopes therapy will help her with another problem, Dis the disturbing feeling that someone or something is following her. Then after a shocking train crash, life goes from bad to bizarre. In the space of mere seconds, Anna's best friend is gone, taken right in front of her eyes by a terrifying beast. Seeking answers, Anna joins forces with the mysterious Malik and his convert clan to find her friend, but there's a larger war underway, and they hope to make it home. Anna and her friends must gather the strength to fight or face the collapse of the universe as they know it. So it's like a dystopian. I am gonna guess. <laughs> but like, look at like this little thing at the bottom. It's so pretty. I'm excited about this one, but <laughs> anyways, this one, Bridge to Haven by Francine Rivers is a book that I got from my neighbors. It's her favorite author, which is funny because the character in this book has the same name as her. Her name is Lena, but to those who matter in Hollywood, Lena Scott is the hottest rising star to hit the silver screen since Marilyn Monroe. If you know her real name is Abra, even... If you were the price she had to pay to feel like somebody, to pass her Ezekiel Freeman, Abra has always been the little girl who stole his heart the night he found her, a wailing newborn under a bridge of the outskirts of Haven. Zeke and her and his son, Joshua, Abra's closest friends, watch her grow into an exotic beauty. But Zeke knows the circumstances surrounding Abra's birth have etched scars deep in her heart, scars that leave her vulnerable to too fast-talking charmer who lures her to Tinseltown. Hollywood feels like a million miles from Haven, and naive Abra quickly learns what's expected of, of the ambitious girl with stars in her eyes. So, if you don't know me, I'm pretty obsessed with anything Hollywood related. Also, the girl on the cover looks like um, Anna Joy Taylor, and it makes me so happy. Because <laughs> I, I kind of want to look like Anna Joy Taylor. <laughs> yes. Well, because Anna Joy Taylor was in a show with Thomas Sangster. So I want to be on a joint table. <laughs> but anyways, so there's that one. This one is a bit like it looks bigger in a general idea. Um, and the pages are longer. It's like 468. So it's like an even. It's pretty good length. But the pages are so freaking long. This author has like a really tiny font. Actually, I'm reading one of her books right now. <laughs> and this one's like a hefty, hefty, hefty. And only like four chapters. I've been reading it for like three months. So, you know. But this one looks good. That one isn't as good. But it's okay. <laughs> it's not mine. But anyway, I'm excited about that one. Then, the two books I bought myself for my birthday. Because... Yo, yo girl um has an obsession i also ordered almost ordered myself 
like for other books because the website or order books from usually was having like a really good sale but then I forgot to order them and then the sale ended so I didn't end up doing that but it's okay Christmas is coming up you guys <laughs> guys Christmas is only like 39 days I'm so freaking excited okay so this is the book I got for myself I've read both of these disclaimer so these will be a little bit more detailed where we used to roam by jen bishop oh my gosh you guys if you take anything off of this list that you should read it's this book please 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 so it's not so much a coming of age story although it's written like a coming of age because it's like a young adult so you, you you're a young adult you've already come of age <laughs> um but this book is about a girl who goes to Wyoming for the summer after her brother has a severe opian or you know, opioid overdose. Yeah. And has to go into rehab and so her parents send her to Wyoming to stay with her mom's best friend and she makes friends and it's good. Does that make sense? But she's also in, like, middle school, so hence the coming of age. But, like, she's having friend drama, and her, she, like, meets this one guy in, like, Wyoming who's, like, really attractive, but he's also gay. So, you know, all the stuff. <laughs> so, but, like, look at the cover, you guys. Like, oh, it's so pretty. And I like Rocky Mountains. It's... I, that sounds really boring now that I'm just explaining it, but it's so good. If you don't read anything else off of this video, I mean, I haven't read any of those, obviously, but read this book, please, please, please. <laughs> so good. Okay, there's that. Five minutes of just me explaining how good it is. This book is me in a nutshell. Kind of a big deal by Shannon Hale. Failed Broadway star moves to Montana. Yeah, Montana. To babysit with the people she babysits for. Finds a pair of reading glasses and every time she reads a book with them, she gets transported into the story. But everyone that she sees in the story looks like people she loves. Like, usually the love interest looks like her boyfriend. Like that kind of thing. But, like... It's such, like, a finding yourself book and, like, never trust the wrong person kind of thing. But it's so good. And any of you who have ever read a Shannon Hale book, they're so good. Shannon Hale is, like... Also, tell me you can't love a character named Josie Pye. Like, excuse me, Josie Pye. And, like, literally, I love it so much. And, like, look at the cover. Like, if you don't know, I'm very obsessed with Broadway. And so anything that has, like, wicked references, there's, like, wicked references, there's phantom references. You got all the stuff. And, yeah. So very good. Honestly, my life is literally thriving off of books, theater, and tea at the moment. I'm, I'm fine, okay? <laughs> but this book is also really good. But if you take anything off this list... Go read this book. It's amazing. But we're not on that at the moment. Ellie. I talk with my hands a lot because I know I'm like fluent in sign language. Fluent-ish. I'm mostly fluent in sign language. So I just talk a lot like with my hands. Because it's been like ingrained in my mind. If that makes sense. But that's off subject. So this book is really good. I don't know. You have to just, like, explain it. You have to read it to, like, really figure out, like, how to describe it. But it's really good. So, anyway, that's all. That's my book haul that I did not buy. I have an obsession. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Actually, don't make sure you don't, I don't care if you like it or not I'm doing this for me so love you guys bye